Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on July 5th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather and world weather, anything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, 304 angstroms looking at our sun the last 48 hours, as we do have that active outgoing sunspot, and as well, fiery coming into Earth-facing region sunspot there, Large plasma filament erecting from the northwestern limb. Outgoing position there. It looks like there was an event in the last image there. Looks like a CME belted away from that very active sunspot. Looking here, multi-spectrum, you can see it in the last image. Watch for that little whoop. I'll slow it down there. It stretches narrow and then snaps. Right there. So yeah, it's still early in the CME images, but there was a CME ejected from that sunspot. Looking at another light here, showing a darker regions, coronal holes. No major space weather events thwarted our way. Looking at a real-time solar wind, space weather effects from the sun, 328 kilometers per second our wind is at, density is about 17, temperature 3.44, pretty stagnant, 330 kilometers per second, geomagnetic activity remains low, solar proton flux is calming down. Looking at our magnetosphere, see how our planet is taking it. So this is the equatorial plane. Solar winds, just showing how the winds are reacting and moving around our planet. Looking at the ISWA mod model from the large solar flare, as you can see, it was like a double event because there was a CME within it. And that was straight at Mars. And it looks like Venus got a little bit of it as well. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, lucky power of seven. Quality of 5.6. Let's get to earthquakes because we are shaking today. We're going to start out here with the most notable 5.2 earthquake in Hawaii. And that's the largest in the region since I can't even remember. I think 2016 when that Kilauea drained out. Let's have a look here. This was north offshore of Hawaii. And then right afterwards, a couple small earthquakes, one right in the crater of Kilauea and then just southeast of Kilauea. So heads up, my Hawaiian friends and family. Get in the comments section. Let me know if you felt that large 5.2 earthquake. Looking across the United States, pretty quiet today. Only three minor earthquakes to report. 2.8 and 2.5. No major movement across the United States. Alaska, seeing a lot of rumbles today. Petersville, Alaska, 72 kilometer depths. All pretty deep earthquakes in the region. I hear there's a lot of permafrost being exposed through Alaska. 3.7 there. That's not Puerto Rico. 3.7 Adak, Alaska. 4.7 there. Nazi, Japan again. 4.4. Julian City, Taiwan. 4.4 here. And Ende, Indonesia. 5.0 here to report Southeast Indian Ridge off the coast, west coast of Australia. And then pretty deep earthquake today, 540 kilometer depth, 4.9 there, Fiji. And as well, Vanuatu seeing a 4.8 and a 4.9, 120 kilometer depth. So yeah, some pretty deep earthquakes. And we're still seeing aftershocks through Chile and uh, Atacama and Velinar. So continual action through South America. 
released pressure through the Caribbean plate. And one lonely earthquake to report here, India 3.9, across Africa and into Eurasia. So a pretty quiet last 24 hours, but notable with the 5.2 here in Hawaii and as well the deep earthquakes that are continuing. Just having a quick look. The last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Much love, everybody. I appreciate you all tuning in and hitting that like button. I would really, really, really love to see if we can get a 1,000 likes in this video. Do you think we can do it? I think we can. Stay aware and prepared. Just have a plan. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center. Showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Fuego, Swiss and Ajima, Senge, Lubatolo, Sabincaya, Nevadas de Rules, Reventador, Nevadas de Chilean. These are all today. And look at all these flood warnings and storm warnings across this app right now. It is very, very busy. As I've been warning over the last few videos. And I did put out the volcano activity report. If you want to see how many volcanoes are erupting, please check that out. That was released earlier today. Tropical Storm Elsa is alive and is was upgraded to a Tropical 1 storm. As well, tsunami warning going out today, but no tsunami was imminent. Tropical Depression number 7 is still alive and heading into China. And then some pretty intense fires are breaking out across Russia, just re being reported 15 and 19 hours ago, but they've been burning for five days already. I'm going to show you here on NASA Worldview. This is June 30th, June 29th. You can see the fires were sparked. And there were quite a few storms going through the region, but this is many fires. It probably looks to be about 50 to 75 in the region, and it smoked out all of eastern Russia, and that's going to be heading eastward in the long-range forecast here. Very smoked out and clouded world right now. A lot of moisture in some areas and a lot of dry and tinder areas as well. I'll show you over Canada. After all the fires through BC and Saskatchewan, most of them are out through BC. The small fires anyway, I think there are two major fires that are still ongoing. Have a quick look here at Tropical Storm Elsa. Go satellite imagery. And this is where our fastest forming hurricane Michael formed last year in this same region. And it was a pretty much an overnight thing. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on the situation, especially on this radar, because I saw some interesting signatures just before Hurricane Michael formed into a Category 5, fastest forming Category 5 in history. So we're looking here at the forecast from Windy. Looks like it's going to be running right up the coastline and making landfall just east of Tallahassee, right into the Florida Panhandle Gulf corner there. And then it's going to race right up the eastern seaboard and most likely will affect Nova Scotia and at the tip of Newfoundland. Show you here with the five-day forecast brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide and Medial Earth. This is an app that you can all get. You can forecast and look yourself. As well, the app that I used earlier, Disaster Alert app. That is something you can download as well. Really helps to stay aware and prepared. Having a look here, home base Calgary, Alberta. Cool weather for the next couple of days as the rain finally moves out. But yeah, warm during the day, cool at night. Low pressure system coming out of southern Alberta, most likely cloudy here for the next couple of days. But an interesting low is going to be heading eastward into Ontario and most likely joining forces with another system. 
in the long range forecast. So that could be a doozy of a storm. As well, the Alberta Clipper that moves eastward might actually join forces with Elsa as it goes up the eastern seaboard. But still, lots of rain forecasted here for the Gulf Coast, Mexico, into Texas, and northward. Watch for thunderstorms pretty much all week throughout Ontario and eastward. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong dominant high pressure ridge still. Not much has changed there. Big low pressure system affecting Ireland. And it looks like it's going to hit that big warm high pressure ridge, go right up over parts of Eastern Europe, then into Russia. A low pressure center hanging around the Black Sea as well. Here's that system now moving right into Russia. Long line of moisture with that. Overlooking Africa and the Mediterranean, pretty dry and hot all week. No major weather events affecting you guys this week. Not much has changed since yesterday's forecast. Same with the Indian Ocean and overlooking Southeast Asia. It just looks like there's one huge low pressure system here, half the size of the planet, spinning over the Bay of Bengal. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that will be affected by the coming weather events towards Southeast Asia. An unreal monsoon season is ahead. Looking at tropical storm number seven will be heading into China and then it's going to race out of China in the long range forecast. So stay tuned. Could have some doozy as a, of a storm following that through the West Pacific. Lots of rain, daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Australia, seeing a low pressure system here develop. Most likely we will bring some pretty cold and windy and wet conditions right up the, the southeast coast to Sydney and maybe as far as New South Wales. But yeah, pretty intense system. And then most likely it'll be taking the same track heading towards New Zealand. New Zealand looks like you're going to be raining until the weekend. Overlooking the Pacific. Not much to talk about. No major weather events. Daily evaporation rains, I'm sure, through Hawaii. And dry all along the west coast. Pretty dominant high pressure ridge eating up all the moisture. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Morning Dew. And I hope you enjoyed today's update. The Daily Dew here for you. Going to leave you here looking at some pretty cool temperatures. Higher elevations across North America. Pretty rare for this late in the season. You got to wonder where our new equator is. Hmm. Much love, everybody. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. Much love and prayers for humanity. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.